Welcome to our screencast, Apple for Service Providers. In this screencast, I want to show you how you can automate your controlling, how to keep track of expenses and revenues in your project, and how you can benefit from all the applications that are included in this one software to monitor your business results and to keep track of expenses, for example, produced by freelancers that you add to your project. As I'm currently logged in at, as an administrator, I will see the top navigation bar where I can set some configuration that is mostly not accessible by normal users of Apple. In the previous screencast, I have shown you how to work with projects, how to add customers to your projects, to give support to them in the ticket queue, and how to organize your work in the task list with your team. In this screencast, we will focus on the controlling opportunities that are integrated in this app hall for service provider solution. So let's start with a new project. We name this my new project. Set the company here. My company. We add an estimation, for example, 100 hours. This is only an internal estimation that is given for the development team. So they have a controlling how much time they initially estimated, mostly independent of your quote and how much time they really tracked. I want to explain the different price modes that we have in Airpal. No information. The name is described by itself means we don't have any information for the price mode. If a task has this setting or a subtask has this setting and you track your time to this task, Apple will automatically check the price mode on the parent node or on the parent project. If not billable is set, this will override the setting of a parent task or a parent project and it means that even if the parent has a price mode set to price per hour and you track your time to this task, no billable will be created. This is mostly done for things we want to do for free for our customers or for internal projects. Fixed price, I already showed this in the previous screencast for Apple projects, is set if you work on a fixed price base to deliver a result. That means if you close your project or your task that has the price mode fixed price, a billable for this fixed price will be created. If you set your price mode to per hour, a billable will be created whenever you track your time to a task. In this screencast, we want to focus on budget per hour. Budget per hour means that you have a budget limit of time that you should control very carefully and warn the customer if the budget is almost empty or if it is empty. Let's create a new budget. We add 20 hours. We add an end date for this budget because it will expire at the end of this month. And we need to set the budget time billing mode. Not prepaid means that whenever you track a time on a task, a billable will be created as the customer did not pay in advance. If we set the budget time billing price mode to prepaid, that means the customer already paid for these 20 hours and no billable will be created whenever we track a time. It will only be created if the budget is empty. So let's set it to not prepaid. Our price per hour is 100 euro and we want to notify the project manager if the budget is close to limit by 80%. Let's save this project. And add a task. Oh, sorry, we have to go to the task queue and add a task here. This is Drupal development. We can add an estimation only for this time. So we think we will spend five hours for the Drupal development. 
And that's it. We don't need to set a price mode as the price mode will be taken from the project because the project is the parent of this task. Let's visit this one task and add the time here. We spent three hours for our triple development. So the first controlling mechanism is task based. That means you will see how much time you estimated on your task and how much time you really spent. Also for subtasks you can see how much time you estimated in your subtask and how much time you spent in your subtasks by time tracking. So let's add the subtask. Estimate your time here. And add the time tracking, sorry, to the subtask. Let's say four hours. On the subtask you see that you estimated 7 hours and spent 4. If you go to the parent, you see that on the parent you estimated 5 hours, spent 3 and on all subtasks you spent 4 hours and estimated 7. Let's add another subtask. You estimate 4 hours. Now on this parent task you see all subtasks and you see that on the subtask in total we have an estimation of 11 hours and spent 4. If you are a triple developer or site builder you can use rules events to hook into these time tracking reports and send also notifications if for example an estimation was overdue. If you want to control your time with budgets you don't need to use rules because this functionality is already built in. Let's check. We have total budget of 20 hours that we want to control and we have 13 hours available. Let's track another time of 10 hours. Now we only have 3 hours left of our 20 hour budget. And this is why we get a warning and the project manager gets an information by mail. If we click onto this project and check the budget, we see that we only have three hours left. So let's add again another time tracking. Five hours. This will overdo the budget and we get a red notification a warning that the budget is now empty. If we go back to the project again and check this budget, we see it's empty. If we want to view the time trackings that have been booked on the budget, we have a list here. We booked 22 hours in general, but only 20 hours have been booked to the budget because after these 20 hours it is empty. So the time trackings are split if they overdue the budget. Let's see what happens in our billables list. We see that for every time that we tracked, we have a new billable. Because as you remember, we set our price mode on the budget to not prepaid. That means the customer has to pay for every time tracking. Now let's add a freelancer to our project. We have two users. One is the freelancer. with a contract and he has a price per hour of 60 euro. He's a freelancer. We have another user. It's an internal developer and he has an internal price of 30 euro. Whenever the freelancer tracks a time, he will create a billable where he is the contractor and our company is the customer. These are expenses from our point of view. Whenever a full employee 
or an internal developer that is set to full employee tracks a time, these expenses will be only added to the project reports. They will not create a billable as we pay our full employees a fixed money amount each month that is not only related to the project time trackings. Let's see how it works to create automatic billables whenever a freelancer creates a time tracking or if our internal developer as a full employee adds his time to a task. To make this mechanism work, you need to ensure that the complete profile, the user contract of the user that should track the time is filled in correctly. We need to set the tax rate, of course the price per hour, and to keep track of your categories where you spent your money that you can see in your reports, we also add the expense category here. Now let's check the settings on our internal developer. He will get the category employee expenses as he is a full team member. Let's get back again to our freelancer and ensure that we assign a contact from the CRM to him. That means whenever a freelancer tracks a time, a billable will be created where this contact is the contractor and where our own company is the customer. Let's see how it works. We change the browser window where we are logged in as a freelancer. This freelancer will track four and a half hours to this task. In his time trackings list, he can see the time that he tracked and only his time trackings, not time trackings of other team members. If we go back to our billables list, we will see that Maria Müller as contractor and my company as customer has a new billable with four and a half hours and 60 euro each hour. Also, the freelancer expenses have been added as a category, so I can report my expenses by different categories. On the other side, as our project where the freelancer tracked his time on will be paid for each hour with a single price per hour of 100 euro, we have another billable of four and a half hours where my company is the contractor and the customer is the customer. That means I will create two invoices at the end of the month, one invoice that I send to my customer and another invoice that will be matched with the invoice of the freelancer. So you always have a very good overview and control how much money you owe your freelancers and how much money you have to pay to them. Let's see how it looks like in the reports. We click to the project reports and we want to report my new project. Let's submit and you will see we have a revenue of 4630 euro. How was this revenue created? We will see in the details. So these are all the time trackings we added. We see all the single prices and the total prices and the total amount that matches the report results. We also see our expenses of 270 euro and we want to check the details how these expenses have been created. And now you see this is only one billable created by Maria Müller because she tracked the time with 4 hours and 60 euro each hour. This is exactly the result that we have in our reports.
And last but not least, very important, the profit. The profit is the revenue minus expenses. And this is the result in the report where you can see how much money you earned with your project. What is also important to get an overview over your total expenses, it is possible to monitor them and recreate a report in the expense tab. So you will see that you have total expenses of 5,340 euro. And now you want to see for what you spent your money. So also at the dimension expense category, you see that you spent 270 euro for freelancer expenses and you spend the rest of your money by non-assigned categories. If you want to see to whom you paid this money, I mean to which freelancers, you will see this again in the details. And in our case, it's Maria Müller again, because she tracked the time to our project. These examples show you how you can automate your controlling and how you can control and keep track of your expenses and your revenue. If you are familiar with Drupal and you are a Drupal site builder or Drupal developer, you have the whole flexibility of Drupal with entities, views and rules and you can change your workflows and your reporting instruments just according to your needs. In the next screencast, I want to show you how you can automate your invoicing with recurring payments for service contracts or hosting contracts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next screencast.